to change their evil deeds into good. Hasn't it? And Allah ain't no liar. He speaks nothing but truth. And he is, as he, he uses these two uh, his, uh, great names, he says he's our four, and he's our Rahim. Now the four and our Rahim. Allah, powerful name. Out of the four, he's all forgiven. He'll forgive us a million times out of the me. A zillion times out of the me. A, a zillion. As long as we're serious and, and sincere about seeking his forgiveness. And he's our Rahim. And this uh, our Rahim is only witness or only uh, experience by those who he has forgiven. That's why you see those two names always tied together, the four Rahim or the Rahim of the four. You see them tied together. So subhanAllah, we all mess up. All of us mess up. And you know what? We continue to mess up. We do. Come on, let's be honest with ourselves. We know we continue to mess up. You know, we're not, we're not going to tell anybody. You know, we're supposed to hide our shame, take it to our law. But we know, and proof is that us, he has us Muslim. He forgave us. So we admitted that we were wrong. And we admit we're wrong every day. Every day. We admit that we're wrong and we make these prayers to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we call upon him for forgiveness. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is always there to accept our tawbah and to grant us forgiveness. Allah 
Thomas the little guy, he says, and whoever makes the top and then does the good works, the righteous works. I want to say it's true that person has made a, an acceptable repentance. It's, it's just trying to uh, sort through the wisdom, because there's so much wisdom in it. You know, it's hard to even just, you know, um, concentrate on one point, because there's so much wisdom in, in, in this idea. This repentance, this thing is, um, he starts both his eyes off with the same word, uh, tower, uh, tower, or tower. He's talking about the repentance and uh, how important it is. And uh, inside the Estopfer, hidden inside the Estopfer, is the, uh, when we say, you know, forgive me a lot. The child is hidden in there. It's there. Because you're not going to say, forgive me, if you haven't already admitted to yourself that you made a mistake, that you're wrong, you messed up. It's there. And, and this, this forgiveness that the lost the penalty without his glances, out of his mercy, is what it's going to take to get us to the next step. And the next step is the step that we're going to take. Inshallah, we come up running out of those graves and we go running to a loss of time. And we pass, you know, the, uh, the test that the Lord gives us, you know, in this life. And we make that step into the paradise. Well, the right foot first. And Allah. The prophet saw them was not going to be satisfied with just one foot in gender. So it's not over until we get both feet inside gender. And, you know, when we walk into that garden, and we bear around all of us, we have a family union in, in paradise. You know. But before we do that, we have to run through hell. Out here. It's hell out here. It's crazy. I could not, I mean, I'm, I'm sitting up there and I think this, uh, this college, this Malcolm X College, and I'm just, I'm just amazed at, you know, what, what a blessing it is that the lost man of God made his Muslim. Because the uh, alternative is, it's a tragedy. It's a genocide going on. It's a spiritual genocide. Mental genocide and a physical genocide. One more not. And most of the people are oblivious to it. Caught up right in the middle of that world you know, and are oblivious to it. Don't even realize just how far away from the law they are. The Victor Lockhart Bar said, It's the greatest thing. So we come here, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Ya ayyuhala dina amanu, dina salati, though you believe on the day of June, dina salati, and yamu jumlati. When the call is made on the day of June, he said, that's out in that dhikr of Allah. The one says, hurry to what? The remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to the dhikr of Allah. Because it is without a doubt the greatest thing. And what I tell us is, that's the only that crook. He said, therefore, you remember me. That's what Allah says. Command statement. He's commanding us. He says, fat for ruining. He said, therefore, you remember me. He's telling us, remember him. He remembers us all the time. With every beat of our heart. With every breath we take. With every bit of light that we have. Open our eyes to it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala remembers us. That's a remembrance. It's, 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 it's a lot of, you know, 